Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome back to Knack 3D Designs. Oh, it's a week after Earth and as you can see, I'm still not unpacked. To be honest, I kind of trashed the maker space here, getting the squire done in time for Earth and well, I want to get everything cleaned up before I unpack. Also wanted to thank Mike from Never Let the Machines Win for this cool new shirt. And uh, well, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and install the heater on the heat plate and install our heat plate on the printer. So let's get started. All right, so in this installment, we're going to go ahead and install our heat pad on top of our heated build plate. Now, if you follow the uh, template I gave you, you'll have two of these tabs that are curved out and two that are flat. Unfortunately, we had some issues in milling and the two tabs that were curved. I don't know if you guys can see them here, but they had some issues where it jumped out and hit. And well, that's our leading edge. That's where we need to have a nice, perfectly smooth edge or we're going to tear up our belt. So I cut the other two tabs down and flipped the plate over. So now this will be our back edge and this will be our front edge. This is the bottom side of the plate where we're going to go ahead and adhere our heater just like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down one last time with alcohol so we're sure we get a really good bond with our 3M heating pad. I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. Or I'm just thinking in my head here. I want this side close to me so that I can line this up right on the edge of the cutout. And yeah, I probably should have lined it up along the front edge, but honestly, this plate's huge. Once it gets the temp, it's not going to matter where this heater is on the plate it's going to be there and it's going to hold heat. I'm just doing a little bit at a time and then basically pressing it down, trying to work from the center out to the outside edges. off a little bit, get all my ugly mutt fingerprints off of it. I'm going to take my build tack squeegee to it, just make sure I've pushed it out nice and smooth. And there we go. This is ready to go on the printer that's hiding in this box. Yeah, a little theatrical. Anyway, so now we need to install our heated build plate so we can go ahead and connect the rest of the wiring up and finish our wiring back here. All right, so now to install this, again, we're gonna need four large high temp washers. I cut these out of eighth inch thick uh, fiber reinforced resin. We will need four metric five T-nuts. We will need four metric five by 16 millimeter bolts. And we will need four high temp M5 washers. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in our T-nuts.
And I'm just going to get this out of my way. All right, so now I have a very precise way of measuring this out. Um, if you want what these are, these are your x-axis end brackets. You only need to print like the bottom quarter inch, just enough to give you something to line up to, but they're the perfect length for spacing the plate out. I'm going to try and judge where these screws need to go. At least get them close. A couple of these washers in place. Grab my heat plate and try and eyeball the other two. I really don't want to scratch this black anodized aluminum for now. Bring this in. All right, so correction, if you use the 8th inch G10 fiber reinforced resin I used, you will need metric 5 by 20 millimeter bolts. The original printer I did, I used nylon ones that seemed to be working just fine. However, <laughs> clearly... It's a little bit longer, or it needs to be a little bit longer for the eighth inch thick washers that I chose to use this time. Now I'm just going to barely even snug these. So I get all four in and then I will use my spacers here to ensure I've got it lined up correctly to the front. All right, so now grab your failed prints or the pieces you printed and stopped short of completion. And literally, you're just going to set them on top of the linear rail or on the extrusion. 
pull it nice and snug across the front and we'll go ahead and tighten up our screws now by using the fiber resin washers here and the high temp washers on top we've pretty much isolated our heat plate from the aluminum extrusion so we don't carry the heat from this heat plate down into the printer and soften up all of our printed pieces these out and you're done with those all right so that wraps up today's episode now if you'd like to help support the channel future projects and future development of the white knight and esquire there are several ways you can help support us in the description below thank you for watching and we'll see you soon